So sizing is a good question. I mean, you can Google it online, but this is usually what I tell my customers. The truth is, is that different vendors are different with their sizing and it's not consistent. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's not even consistent within the wig company. Okay. Sometimes we'll get a large that fits like a medium. Okay. So it's not super easy. Um, it's always a good idea if you're buying online to have a conversation with the person who's selling it and have them tell you what, like, a lot of times what we'll do is, you know, I'll measure my own head mm -hmm. and then I'll say, this is how it fits me versus okay. you or whatever. Um, and then the other thing we'll do sometimes is, wow, that looks really cool. Okay, so this is a hairline and you can see the blue. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Yeah. So that's blue. And that, what I said is like, it's a water soluble little guy. And then basically what we'll do is I'll take like baby wipes or whatever, mm -hmm. and then we kind of clear it off before we cut. Usually I wash this right when it comes in. I'm just showing this right now. And then the blue's gone. So that's how they mark the hairline? Yeah, that's how I mark the hairline. Okay. And it's basically like a, I think it's a, it's like a tailor's marker. So you can put it on and it, always comes on. And whenever you're moving your hairline around, you're always, always, always then gonna go back and shove everything back in there. And then, yeah. So this like is gonna look a little blocky on you because it's not your hairline, but yeah, we like that. And then, yeah. So this is kind of like for somebody who wants a lot of height here, This is a this is a big goofy wig, yeah. but but this is a great wig. It's fun. Yeah, and this woman has a very very even hairline, so there's not a lot mm -hmm. of like ups and downs. Mine is like there's a lot of different pieces kind of put into it because mm -hmm. I have a hard hairline. 